hey guys happy new year first of all let's start off there i cannot believe it's 2022 um yesterday felt like 2010 i don't think i'm being dramatic it literally felt like 2010 yesterday so i can't believe we've lived to see 2022 um and you know the past two years have been nothing short of crazy so just entering this year with a heart of gratitude and just being thankful and grateful that god has seen us through the past two years alone um you know it's impacted a lot of people whether good or bad um but just really being thankful that he's seen us through in our right minds to be honest but um yeah just being grateful for a new year more life more blessings moving on on another note um, today's video, I am doing a entryway makeover. So I made over the entryway to my apartment back in, I think, 2020. Um, this was like October 2020. And the reason I'm showing you guys now is because I will be changing the entryway again. So as you guys know, if you watched any of my previous videos, um, I mentioned that I am going through my apartment and I am I'm making over certain parts of my apartment and the entry is one of them so I'll be changing the paint color and different things like that so I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how I achieve the current state of my entryway before I change it over sorry for any background noise um <laughs> before I change it over so um if you guys have any questions at all don't hesitate to leave me comments I always reply to the comments um and yeah, and also thank you guys for supporting my channel. It's still growing, it's still small, but I am very appreciative for the likes, the comments, the subscribers. I love you guys so much. So thank you guys so much for um, watching, for supporting. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed. So thank you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this makeover. And again, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so I began by measuring out my wall and dividing it into three equal parts. That way I knew exactly where I wanted my boards to go. And after I did that, I was able to lay out my boards before I nailed them into the walls. Now I use very little nails because I am renting my apartment. Um, however, there are other ways that you can put up board and batten if you want to do any trim work. You can use extra strong double-sided tape or whatever works for you. Um, just make sure if you do nail it, you patch your holes once you take them down. Okay, so I did begin with my vertical boards first and then I went in and added my horizontal pieces using a level. If you're going to do this, use a level just to ensure that your boards are completely straight and you don't have any crooked boards to avoid adding any additional holes in the wall or having to remove it and then do it all over again. You know, you just do it once the right way and you will avoid a lot of unnecessary work. So the paint color I'm using here is called Infinite Deep Sea by Bear, and I do really like this color. Um, I initially had it, if you can see over there, in my living room on an accent wall. So the reason I do want to change this color um, is because I've had this color in my home since about 2017, and I just got tired of staring at it, and then I went ahead and carried it to this entryway which kind of um which was nice in the moment but then over time i kind of just got really 
tired of staring at this blue I mean I've been staring at it for like five years almost so I just think it's time for change for me but if you guys are interested in this particular blue it is called infinite deep sea and it is there so you can get it at Home Depot um, it's a nice color my camera light does make it show a bit brighter than it actually is it's more of a moody deep blue so it's really a nice rich blue color Okay, so moving right along, so now I want to create a console table for my entryway and I wanted to DIY my console table because the ones that I seen that were similar to this design I found were a bit overpriced for my budget um, and I wanted to kind of do custom measurements because the entryway here, this wall that you guys see me working on, actually is the pathway to the dining area and the living room. I didn't want anything too big that would take up too much space so I went ahead and just decided to DIY my own table because I thought that would just be better to have custom dimensions that way I knew exactly what I was getting myself into. Okay, so this table really wasn't that complicated. Um, what you have to bear in mind is that you have three sides to the table. So you know the top, you're going to cut 45 degree angles both on the left and right side. And then when you're creating the legs for the left side, you're gonna cut everything on a 45 degree angle to the left. And when you're creating the right side, you're gonna cut everything on a 45 angle degree to the right and then when you put them together they should match up quickly for this particular design though your cuts have to be precise or as precise as you can get them just so that you, you can ensure that when you're gluing the table together they sit properly um, otherwise you're going to run into some issues and you might have to sand some things down or go back and cut over but just making sure that your cuts are as precise as you can get them will really um, ensure that this DIY goes really smoothly. This is not a full tutorial but hopefully just by visualizing what I'm doing or seeing what I'm doing here briefly um, kind of gives you guys an idea of how creating or tr if you try to recreate this table how it works. Okay, so here I'm just testing out the stain. I believe the stain is Early American and it is the Minwax brand. Also another tip, if you're gluing any wood together, ensure that you clean all of the glue out of your joints or whatever correctly or when you go into stain, it will show up on the material and it looks really ugly. It leaves such an ugly yellow mark on it, so just ensure that you're doing that. And this here is what I was saying. So if your cuts are not precisely 45, when you're gluing it together, it will not sit flush and you need it to be glued perfectly together or um, you have to figure out a different way to, re to construct the table, um, maybe using nails or wood screws. But I think the cleanest, best way to do it is using glue.
and here is what the entryway wall looks like. It wasn't too long of a video. I didn't want this video to be too long because it really is just to give you guys a bit of an idea of what the current state of my entryway looks like. It's not exactly like this because this was fall 2020 but I mean you guys kind of have an idea based on this video how it looks but I hope you guys enjoyed this makeover and I hope you guys stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my future makeover when I do eventually get back to this entryway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Is there anything that you would have done differently? And if you have any tips for my future makeover, I already have some ideas. But if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down in the comment below. I am always open to suggestions. And until next time, guys, I love you so much for watching. Happy New Year again. Take care of yourself.